way. This is just general information and fun stuff for the folks who will be coming to San Antonio for our Council of Governors meeting. Uh, uh, and I forgot the dates. I should know the dates. Hi guys, we're going to be walking around the Minger Hotel in downtown San Antonio and talking about ghosts and rooms and things. Now this one's kind of weird. Some of it is, is uh, uh, some of the audio is uh, what was uh, shot at, with the video at the time. Uh, we, we had, uh, I believe her name was Shelly uh, or Stacy, one of the two. I get those two names confused. Anyway, she's a uh, one of the, uh, the sales managers there at the Minger took us around the property and uh, was explaining some of those things. Of course, a lot of our lines can keep their mouth shut, so it's just kind of hard to hear sometimes. Uh, so there's also some voiceover stuff that I put in there uh, that uh, that's sort of, you'll, you'll tell it's post-production. But I hope you enjoy this. Hope you have uh, enjoyed looking at this. Okay, uh, Minger's not uh, compensating me for this in any way. There's no endorsements or anything on this. Uh, this is just some general information for those uh, folks who will be coming in for a Council of Governors meeting in November, November 6th and 7th, uh, where we'll be having that meeting at the Minger Hotel in downtown San Antonio. So without further ado, uh, here's, a, here's our tour guide to, to kick us off. All right. Hi, good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So morning. we are going to start off the tour. We'll start with our initial space, um, head up to some guest rooms, and then work our way over to the ballroom. So this would be, of course, one of the meeting rooms that you do have. And if you want to follow me this way, we'll head over to one of the other meeting rooms. So this is my minuet room. This will be another meeting room that you guys will have while you're here. Um, it does open up to our garden area to our right and our pool area on the left. Um, as does the patio room. It does open up to the garden as well. So for you guys to take a break. You know, I wish I could. Oh, Unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, but you know, you know it's what makes the down. room unique yeah. and its own self on that. Um, but yeah, so this space we can do a variety of setups with. This is the only room that's connected to my colonial dining room. So if you guys have had a chance to go into the dining room on that, um, we have some people that will do the setup in here, but they want to eat off the buffet in the restaurant. So they'll just walk over from there, which is kind of nice and convenient because it's just right through the glass doors to get to the restaurant at the hotel. <laughs> this, this is the garden area. Um, in the beginning, this used to be full of mango trees. And so for those of you that are familiar with the hotel, um, they had so many mangoes, they didn't really know what to do with all of them. So the chef decided to try to make mango ice cream. And that's where our mango ice cream concept came from. Uh, we still currently do have the mango ice cream that we do offer through our restaurant. And that um, They did take away all the mango trees, unfortunately, but we have someone that makes the ice cream for us now. Um, it's also said that there was, uh, during the modern days, there was a guest that stayed with us that was unable to pay for his guest room. So he told the general manager at the time, well, I can't pay for my room, so would you be willing to trade my room fees for my pet crocodile or alligator, one of the two? that time because it was a bartering days um, they did have a pond out here before they made it into a water feature so the general manager agreed to do so and in turn housed it here for a little while eventually they removed it they took the pond out they did the water fountain instead um, hence why everything was well, where it is now but just some fun little facts or history of the hotel but yeah so now you'll notice that uh, you'll see some balconies out um, a lot of the balconies will be some of the suites that are in the hotel on that. So, um, second floor, third floor, that's our Teddy Roosevelt and our Babe Ruth suite. Um, those we typically use as hospitalities, but they do have a guest room in there for sleeping. It's a king-size bed. They'll have a living room area. We're actually going to see one of those today. Um, to your right and my left will be where the front desk is, for those of you that are not familiar with it. So your check-ins will be through there. If you go out the front doors here, you're going to be right in Alamo Plaza, which will be right in the kind of the middle of the square, if you would, for downtown. Um, when we walk around, you'll be able to see this. We have the trolley that picks up right outside the hotel, right next to the Alamo, so in between the hotel and the Alamo. Um, and then also the double decker tour. So if you guys are wanting to do something like that, get a little more history on the hotel and see a little more venues throughout. It's a great way to experience downtown without having to drive yourself. 
worry about parking charges for every place you stop at. That's the new wallpaper, the new carpet, it is looking amazing. And they have completed all of the living rooms that are this part of the guest room side of it. They're working on the suites and the meeting space uh, in single rooms in the rotunda. And then what they'll do is they're going to make their way to our meeting space and then work at getting the other remainder of the rooms. Should be 260. We're 316 room hotel. The second and third wings were added in the late 1900s to expand the hotel. A little bit more to the long term board to be able to utilize. Our colonial dining room is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, breakfast and lunch are typically the base style, or we have the option to order off the menu. Dinner will be off the menu only. We don't leave a base for dinner. If you guys would like to come in and take a look at it, you're more than welcome to. The columns and structures have not changed. Um, there were some photos on the wall that will show you kind of back in the 18, 1900s. It looks identical to what it was during that time frame. So, yeah. We do do a brunch on Sundays versus a breakfast or lunch buffet. That. Um, so brunch is available on Sunday mornings and then the breakfast and lunch buffets are all week. Friday lunch because we do do some seafood on the menu. Um, it runs up to $19.95 for lunch on Friday. And then of course we do get you know, discounts on that. You have your family and children, seniors and so forth. There are discounts. They're working on it, apparently. So they had to be crowded the last time we were here. Yeah. So, um, just a fun little story for those that you might know San Antonio history. There was a cattle baron, Mr. King, that used to, he's very wealthy back in the day and used to stay here a lot. His guest room was over here um, towards this little hallway. Um, and he actually passed away in the room and they say you can still see his ghost walking across into where is now it's a wall but it used to be a door that's where the bedroom part of the suite is that you can see his ghost walking into there like he would usually do when he would stay here because he was here he pretty much lived here for quite some time on that and so um, just fun stories a lot of our ghost stories will happen in the historic wing um, there's a chambermaid that was uh, that was murdered and they say you can see her ghost walking through whether she's carrying <laughs> towels or looking like she's making a bed. Some guests have reported seeing her in their rooms just looking like she's making the beds even though she's not actually doing anything. But she had a guest that stayed here that called down one night to the desk. He was very upset and irate and the reason was because he said he asked for towels. He saw a maid walk through the hallway when he opened his door. She ignored him, she just kept walking. So he's ranting to the front desk and just really upset about it in the evening. And the guest said, well, we don't have any housekeepers on staff in the evening, so could you please describe what she was wearing to us? So when he was describing her outfit, it was one of the old chambermaid outfits. And I said, well, sir, the reason you didn't get your towels and you got no response is because that would be one of our ghosts that was walking through the hall. <laughs> so the guest got very quiet, didn't say too much, and of course they bought him towels up. Um, so I don't think he had much to say after that. but. Um, just a fun little story of uh, some of the experiences that our guests have had in the hotel. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt Suite has been renovated. This is my big roof on the second floor. Right now, my general manager is currently occupying the big, big roof until they renovate his room from our last general manager. So you can see you have a nice sized living area, dining room table, uh, kitchenette area, no stove, but you do have a kitchenette area. You have a separate bedroom. Yeah, this is a Teddy Roosevelt. Hey, you all need to jump on Three sections. We can do small, medium, large, and large. Um, we got the chandeliers. Controls for your lighting room in here so you can dim it or make it uh, brighter. Um, we do a variety of room setups in here. Right now, you see it's it set up for a wedding. We've got a dance floor we set down for them. We have a stage we put for their head table, a uh, stage for the DJ from that. So we um, can do quite a bit here. Um, the chair covers, the
Okay, that wall you're looking at that the trolley is going by, that's the Alamo. And that trolley comes right by the hotel. You can also get a horse and buggy ride at the hotel. Uh, they also run in the evening and they're all lit up and look really nice. A nice romantic trip around San Antonio on a horse and carriage. This is just outside the hotel. That's the Minger there on the right with the big crane in front of it right there. Uh, the IMAX Theater and Morton Steakhouse. It's a very good steakhouse, very expensive steakhouse. You have to have a coat and tie and it's expensive. This is the, well, they're redoing the entrance here, but uh, this is the entrance right next to the ballrooms. The main lobby is right back this way, up this hallway. Okay. That's the main lobby, the main entrance. But if you take this entrance here, when it will be finished by the time we're here, there's a steakhouse right there. The River City Mall is right around the, the curve there. IMAX Theater is right there. And uh, by the way, right across the street is the Alamo. Okay, this is that entrance uh, from the outside that we were just looking at from the inside. And uh, on wall of the hotel. And you can see it's a very short walk to the steakhouse. Uh, there's the door to the steakhouse. Expensive steakhouse. They've got the menu on the wall, but there's no prices. And there's the entrance to River City Mall. Just steps away. This is just inside that doorway we were just looking at. The IMAX theater is on the left. There's a special tourist trap on the right. This is just down the, the hall from the theater. And you step out into the mall itself. <laughs> the mall is on three levels. This is considered the street level. There's a third floor and then there's a river level. At the bottom of that escalator right there is a food court. And we'll show you that. Okay, there's a very large food court. It's on the uh, river level, uh, and they got a little bit of everything in there, even our IHOP. And just off the uh, food court there, through these doors, you step out onto the river walk itself. There's a Chili's restaurant, if you keep walking straight down there, uh, it's just about uh, 20 feet down the walkway there, in fact, that's, uh, there's the river. Just across the way there, on the street level, there are several restaurants, all kinds of restaurants, Italian, uh, Indian, steakhouses, everything. But, uh, that's River City Mall. And this is the Minger.